What's up guys? It's me, Chef Me, back with a new video. Alright, so I got a new challenge for you guys. It's called the Keep Up With Me Challenge. Got a new chef, Giovanni Santiago. Um, let's see if he can keep up with me. I don't think so. Actually, I know he can't. But, it's only one way to see him. With Chef Me, let's go. Hey, what's going on, mi gente? Chef Giovanni here. About to walk in here into the studio. I'm meeting Chef Me here. Tyler, we're doing a keep up with me challenge, but what he doesn't know yet, he's gonna be the one trying to keep up with me. Uh, I'm not sure what we're gonna be cooking, but honestly, I'm not too worried. Uh, so yeah, let's get to the kitchen and find out. Let's get right to it. Chef Me TV. I've got a new challenge, it's called the Keep Up With Me Challenge. Chef me. You. When the beats. Yo, 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 yo. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another episode of Chef Me TV. All right. For the chefs out there all across the world, we got a new challenge for y'all. It's called the Keep Up With Me Challenge. All right, we got a new upcoming chef, Giovanni Santiago. Giovanni! Yes, sir! Yeah! First things first, wash of the hands. <laughs> Are you ready, Joe? All right, let's get it. Let's get that pan hot, high heat, high heat. We'll be making oven tomato risotto. We got nice basil, saute broccolini, some garlic, lemon, nice and fragrant, tasty, of course. And also we have a chicken cutlet, nice and thin, flat, dredge it in eggs, and then dredge it in breadcrumb. Get that nice sear on it. Yeah, I think I do. I hope I do. I know I do. First, gotta crack the eggs. <laughs> Boom. Take the fork, beat the eggs. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it. Do the whip, do the whip, 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 whip. Nice and smooth, all right, boom. Now, time for the chicken breast. Going with the egg mixture. Both pieces of chicken. Come on, Joe, where you at, where you at, where you at? All right, I'm going in with the oil. All right, dredge both sides in the egg mixture. Make sure it's fully coated. Fully coated, submerged, drain, and then lay right in, right into the breadcrumb mixture, both sides. A little bit of salt, pat that down. If you pat it down, it'll stay. Seasoning will stay, breadcrumb will stay, which means better sear. More flavor. More flavor, yes, there we go. You're with me, I knew you were. All right, second piece, dredge both, salt, both sides, pepper, pat that down, make sure that stays, flip it, boom. Shake off the excess, straight to the pan. That sound, you hear that? That's what you wanna hear. Joe, where you at? I'm in the pan, where you at? Come on, Joe, let's go, let's go. We're moving, we're moving. All right, boom. Little bit more oil. Yeah, that's that sound you wanna hear every time. Get that going. All right, so it's gonna take maybe about, mm, about a minute and a half to two minutes for a nice, beautiful golden brown sear. Visually, but you wanna keep your eyes right here. I'm in the pan, Joe, where you at, where you at? Almost there, brother. All right. Oh, ain't, uh, ain't no head start, they're watching, ain't no head start. While that's going, I got my broccolini. This right here is not presentable. So all we're gonna do is just cut that off. Hey, remember though, we got this cooking. You wanna be able to manage that too as well at the same time. Turn the heat down to medium heat. I'm just gonna give that a nice little check. It's almost there. Cut the end off, boom. Take that, straighten the pot. We're in. Got that going. We just want a nice little pop of green. It's gonna take maybe about 30 seconds. Going with a little bit more oil. Got that going, still on medium heat from there. Look at that, look at that sear. Look at that, come on. All right, flip that over. 
Look at that. Hey, it's gonna taste better than yours. I've already flipped mine. Y'all see that color? Hey, no color, no flavor. All right. Get that going, get that going. Smelling good, looking great. Add a little bit more oil. All right, turn my heat up just a little bit. All right, just to ensure that it's completely seasoned, a little bit more salt. There we go, okay, okay. I see you, I see you. My tongs right here. Nice little pop right there, nice little pop of color. Out. Put that right here on my cutting board, boom. Take that pot, discard it, we don't need it anymore. Pan too, now we're gonna start multitasking. So, risotto. Get that going. Got my pan on. I got that going on medium heat as well. All right, go ahead and get my chicken to flip. Nice, beautiful sear, that's what you want. Now, it's a chicken cutlet. It doesn't take that long. So, I'm gonna let that other side sear for maybe 30 more seconds, boom. Take that butter. Yes, sir, I said, oh, don't blow up the place now, Joe. Now, we go off with the heat before we put the butter in because we do not want the butter to burn. We want it to be nice and frothy, bubbly. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, got my pan going for my risotto. Still coming up the temp. Still there, Joe? Uh, yeah, the heartbeat still. Okay, okay. All right, get that nice flip. Beautiful. Right, risotto, there we go, there we go, he's here. Oh. Thought you went to Puerto Rico for a vacation. No, sir. Good, good, good. How you doing, guys? Touch, doing touch. Good? Okay, oh. Yeah, Okay, Already. take that chicken out. Not throw that away, that is flavor. Put it right over that chicken. 